Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining as we go through question 5 of the May June 2023 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. The question begins Each of 75 girls recorded the name of their favorite sport. The number of girls who chose track and cricket are shown on the bar chart below. So, this is the information so far. It's a partial bar chart. Swimming, tennis, and football are missing, but we have track and cricket. And the first question is how many girls, how many more girls chose cricket than track as their favorite sport? So we need to first identify the numbers here. And the number of persons choosing track is 12, or the number of girls choosing track is 12. Now let's pay some attention to the scale on our vertical axis here. We notice that we're using two, one centimeter to two here. So we have two, four, six, eight. And so we realize that um, half of a box is one. And so by the time we get here to 16, this is half of a box. So that would be 17. So we have that 17 girls chose cricket. And we have 12 chosen track. And so we can answer the question easily as to 17 minus 12 gives us 5. So 5 more girls chose cricket than the girls who chose track. <coughs> and that's the answer for that question. We move on. So this was 17. That was 12. Just writing them in. Um, 11 girls recorded tennis as their favorite sport. So, so far we have 17 and 12 and now 11. And that gives us um, 10, 20, 30. That gives us 40 girls. So, 11 girls recorded tennis as their favorite sport. For the remaining girls, the number who chose swimming compared to the number who chose football was in the ratio 2 to 3. So let's find out how many girls are remaining. Remember there are 75 girls. So we have 75 take away 40 and that gives us 35 girls remaining. Now this number 35 is to be shared between um, football and swimming in the ratio two to three. So swimming and football in the ratio two to three. So it's two to three in that order, swimming to football. And so we add two plus three, two plus three gives us five. And so swimming will be two over 5 times 35 that gives us 14 and football by that same measure will be 7 times 3 which gives us 21 so if we write them out um, cricket is 17 track is 12 Tennis is 11, and here we have swimming being 14, and, and um, football being 21. So it says use this information to complete the bar chart above. So let us draw in the, the bar chart. So for, for um, tennis, we have 11. So let's draw that bar for tennis. And that bar should be 11. So it's going to be halfway there. And that should be for tennis. The bar looks a little bit low. Let's just top it up a little bit. So it's halfway between there. And that's, um, that's 11. For the other bar, we have for swimming, swimming is 14, and so that one is 
easy to draw because it stops right here. 14, of course, um, that's 14 here. And football is 21. So let's draw in for football. Football is 21. Um, so we go 20 here and then go halfway through that box. And there we go. And we drop that line there and we have completed our bar graph where this is now 21. And so we can answer the question and determine the mode of sport. The mode of sport is there for football. So we can write that in. It's a mode of sport because it has the most people, the most girls um, playing that sport or rather liking that sport. Let's move on to the next part. Here we have you no. Know, it says one of the girls is selected at random. What is the probability that she chose neither track nor cricket? So if she chose neither track nor cricket, it means that she chose swimming or tennis or football, which means 14, 11, and 21. So we have here 14 plus 11 plus 21 and there are 75 girls in total so the probability is going to be 10 20 40 that's 46 over 75 and that's our answer right there usually you simplify your probabilities but here we have an even and an odd number so um, these two are not going to simplify so this is our answer here the probability that a girl chosen at random chose neither track nor cricket as her favorite sport and we move to the next part of the question where it says now the information on the favorite sport of 75 girls is shown in a pie chart calculate the sector angle for football Remember, 21 persons, 21 persons, 21 girls liked football. And so the angle will be 21 over 75, or 21 divided by 75. And we're multiplying this by 360. And of course, what we need to do is just pop out your calculator and type in the number. And of course, 21 divided by 75 times 360 gives us 100.8 degrees. And that gives us the angle for football. Pretty interesting question. Um, not that difficult, but very interesting because it brought in a couple of concepts. Pie charts, bar charts, ratios all in the same in the same question that brings us to the end of it if you found this video useful then remember to share it with someone and of course if you haven't subscribed to the channel then please do until the next time when we go to another question thank you for watching and continue working hard